<laughs> hey, Joe, welcome to 3D Printing Nerd Studios. Of course, probably powered by PCB Way, 8% off. Link in the description. You know what to do. This thing in front of me that is very reminiscent of Monument Valley is called the Cube Wave, a side table by Geoshape over on Thangs, and it just caught my eye, so I had to print it. These were printed on the Core One from Prusa, and it's in Prusa Mint Orange. Um, uh, I believe it's the PLA. I think it's the PLA. These parts all print like just this. They, they print like this, and they're a shape, and then the coolest part, they interact. They have these these wavy sort of uh, pieces that that interact, and it's it's in there pretty good. And it's just the static pressure and the layer lines that are kind of holding it from sliding back and forth. But it's just fascinating to me that we're at this point within additive manufacturing where we can just boom create furniture. And and this is furniture. I, I mean, it's small furniture. There we go. It's a holder for my Hacksmith lightsaber. Fantastic. I've always wanted one of those. It's perfect. So this is cool. Like I said, printed on the core one and uh, very reminiscent of Monument Valley. And if you've ever played Monument Valley, you're totally going to get the reference. But inside something like this, you can put things. And then on top of this, you can put things. And in fact, you could you could like an Ikea uh, two by four shelving unit. You could lay it on its side and then, oh, look, it comes apart and it goes back together. It's just, it's just wonderful. And one of the ways I think that I would probably use this to customize it is to do this. So I turn that around and then I, I turn, no, no, I turn that around and then I turn that around. Modular is cool. Modular is something that 3D printing really, really excels in. And it gives us the opportunity to be playful, not only with the things that are in our environment, but our environment itself. These were printed at, I believe it was like 30% scale. I wanted them all on that build plate for that Prusa Core 1, but behind me, where are you? There you are. Behind me is a Bamboo Lab H2D, and I made them larger on that. So as I go get those, you watch the time lapse. These parts are from the Bamboo Lab H2D and they are very purple. And there are specific people over on X that I know are gonna love the purpling. These are slightly bigger than these because I wanted to make slightly bigger furniture. And they work just the same. You can combine these in all sorts of really cool different ways to make the things in your environment and your environment exactly what you want. I like it. And there's a slicing trick that you do with these to make it look even better. Now, in 3D printing, there is something called the seam, and it's where the extruder moves to the next layer. Sometimes it's in a line, sometimes it's at varied points to speed it up, but a lot of times that leaves, well, depending on your settings, either a small or large imperfection in your 3D print. With this, there's this really cool solution. All you need to do is say paint the seam within the part that stacks. So in doing that, you're telling the 3D printer to put the seam in the same spot for every layer. And it just so happens that that spot is hidden, 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 because as you stack these pieces, the seam is on the conjoined bits. And so now you have yourself a larger end table that can hold your Hacksmith lightsaber. We're still in Barbie dreamland territory because we need something bigger. Now, I don't know about you, but this is not the size of a standard end table in the house that I live in. It needs to be slightly larger because it holds food and snacks and glasses because I take them off when I fall asleep on the couch. We need something larger. So to do that, I utilized the Prusa XLs in the print farm Let's go take a look. The Prusa XLs in the print farm are on this incredible shelving unit donated to me by its point space. And I have a lot of really cool plans for this because I printed some new fan shrouds for all of them in PC. And I've also got these really cool little shelves for, I hope like wise cameras or web cameras to record time lapses. But more importantly for the item at hand, look at this and this and this. There are three different parts for that end table and I'm just gonna, ooh, are we gonna get to crack them? Yes. 
Look how big that is. That is fantastic. All right, part number two. Oh, that was surprisingly easy. Uh, print quality is good on these. Oh, uh, check it out. You can see the seam right there. That you're never gonna see because it's on the bits that can join. All right, I've got, I've got three parts here. This one didn't print the fourth part because there's some stuff I'm gonna do to it. You're gonna see that later, but uh, oh geez. Now it's time to put these together. <laughs> now that we're out here, let's just call this one small and we'll, we'll put small over here. We'll call this one medium. Uh, the purpling is medium and we'll put purpling over there. And now, <laughs> now, now we get to do something really fun because this is spectacular. Oh my goodness. I, I, so I put my hand on it because I was like, I wonder if I could sit on this. Do it, do it. I don't know. Okay. So it might hold me, but for now, I want you to know that I finally have a really cool place to put my TIE fighter. Oh, wait, wait, we, we can customize our environment and we can customize the things. Yes. This was fun. Something like this is, it seems simple at first, but it's the simple things with additive manufacturing that seem to make the most impact because the simplicity in life are the, is the things that just exist. And, and this just exists in your environment, but it gives you the opportunity to customize and be bespoke and just make the environment be more like you. And that's my favorite part. So I, I'm so thankful you came along for this because if you did, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for cause you believe in and click the link in the description. And as always, High five.